Good morning, welcome to How to Vintage. My name is Jonathan and we are in the car. It's actually half past eight on Monday morning. And you must be wondering why we're filming like this. Well, I mentioned before we got a big cowboy boot delivery due and um, you'll want to see it. You all, actually quite a lot of you reach out saying you want to see it. Um, but this week is actually a fairly hectic week. We've got nearly half a ton worth of stock arriving uh, but also, I have hospital today, and on Friday, I have to take my son for a COVID test. So, my week is actually being shrunk down to about a three day period, and that's providing nothing happens today to kind of uh, cause any more issues. Um, <clears throat> so, I thought we'll do a bit of a like a, a weekly, like a, like a week in the life of, because this week is going to be fairly hectic, so it should be pretty interesting to see how we get on. So I'm gonna go in there now, see the uh, the doctor man, and I'll get back to you shortly. And then we kind of go through what's coming and gonna happen the rest of this week. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so I've just uh, got to the office now. Um, people are probably gonna wonder why I was just going to the hospital. Uh, I had cancer over this eye right here. Um, and since then, my eye's not been right since the operation, so I had to go for a checkup today. Um, but this week, let's get to the important stuff. This week, we've got nearly half a ton of stock. We've got to go to Vintage Wholesale in Hull to collect um, over 300 kilo of cowboy boots. And we've also got to go to Brand Gurus in Bradford to collect another nearly 100 kilo of cowboy boots. Um, I ordered some stock from Vintage Wholesale UK. Uh, and they've been really messing me about to be fair. I actually tried to cancel the order. Um, and then three days after I sent a thing saying, look, cancel this now, you're taking the piss. Um, they sent a message saying, oh no, it's been dispatched now. And then sent a tracking number. The tracking number showed that they um, it was only being collected that day and was only booked in that morning. Absolute mockery of a fucking company. Um, we're going to look at them later when we do a bit of a review on the stuff we get because I'm honestly not impressed with the service at least um, and then we've got a couple of starter boxes showing up so we've got a lot of stuff arriving in a very short period of time we're waiting on a new office to come free so we can move into it to make room for all this new stuff and to make the studio actually for the channel um, but that hasn't happened which is why I have an old school desk in the back of my car which has been there for a week and a half so I need to find somewhere for that to live uh, today, so the car is free for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in now, see what the situation is with the post. My colleague's probably got most of it done already. Um, today's not gonna be massively eventful, it's just a case of preparing the office, uh, ready for delivery of all this stuff tomorrow. Um, hopefully, well, yeah, the, that pallet might arrive tomorrow while we're out at Hull as well, which is the other thing. But yeah, basically, I've only got like three and a half days this week to get as much done as possible. Um, around all these covid tests and hospital appointments um so it's like a, a fairly hectic week over here so i'll go inside now see what's happening um i might cut back in and just kind of show you how much post we have if not i'll cut back in tomorrow morning when we're on the way to hull good morning it's uh, day two uh, i didn't get to film much more yesterday by the time i got to the office there was quite a bit to do um a lot of post i think it was like 40 odd items over the weekend um, so yeah, we're gonna head off up to Hull now. Um, go see the team there. Go collect the cowboy boots, uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to show you some of the process. If not, um, when we get back, I'll kind of do a bit of a video, show you what we've got, um, and I might do tomorrow a bit more of an in-depth video on the kind of stock we received. Uh, but yeah, let's get this party started. Don't know what that was either. I've got to stop saying random silly things. Okay, so I just collected the boots. You might be able to see them behind me. Uh, the car is very full. Uh, we're just stopping to get a coffee at Costa quickly. Um, good chat with Ricardo though, uh, he's the guy 
um, who runs the vintage wholesale company in Hull. Um, it is a company that I have been using 15 years. If you are looking for a wholesaler, definitely reach out to them. They are trusted um, and they are good. They, you know, they're not going out of the way to rip you off. They're actually a genuine company and they've been around for a long time. So they're not like some startup company or a company that changes the name every couple of years. It's a legit company. So definitely give them a look. I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm gonna head back to the office now. We're gonna unpack um, this stuff, show you what we got, and then probably get some of it listed. Um, and then tomorrow, or maybe even today, we actually have another delivery due. Um, so when that other delivery is uh, arrives, we'll go through that. And then we've also got to go to Bradford and pick up even more cowboy boots. So I'll cut back in when we get back to the office. So we just got back from Hull, obviously, and this is the sea of cowboy boots that we got back. So my next job now for the print, which is probably the rest of the day, is to sort this into piles to list. We've got boxes behind the camera, which we're gonna pile them into, into basically priority. So the funky stuff like, alligator print well not even alligator print this is actual alligator uh, hide they're gonna go in priority stuff branded stuff like Sankos especially the bigger Sankos these ones are basically unused um, considering these work out about 10 quid a pair these ones are worth 60 70 quid on their own and they're actually in pretty good nick so I don't need to do much to them just wipe them down to clean them back up and then we've got uh, funky women's ones like the uh, ones they used to wear in the old saloons these are Tony Mora, again, a really good brand in a green with a fire tip. Um, all these are 50, 60 quid plus pairs. Um, now the issue with cowboy boots is when you get shittier ones, like these ones. These are like Chinesey ones. They're not like American made. American made is where the money is. Um, I was actually wrong. These are actually made in Mexico. So these are okay as well. But you can generally tell by the plastic soles. I've got a few like them. These ones, they're cheap. So they're only like 25, 30 quidders. Um, brand new, they're only 60, 70 quid. So they're not worth as much. But if you didn't know this, then it might not be able to make as much money out of it as possible. Again, these ones look really good on the top, but on the lower, again, cheap plastic lower. So it won't be worth as much. Although these are still fairly nice. It's actually the same brand as the other pair there. Uh, again, <clears throat> with ones like this, they're basically western like they're not actually cowboy boots still 20 30 quid uh these ones made in italy so again retain the value a little bit but still not the best of the best stuff so i'm gonna work through this um try and sort it out into piles that are usable and hopefully i'll get back with some listed pictures shortly um what else I got to say? We have another delivery due tomorrow, which I'll film. There's a pallet of stock coming tomorrow, so I do need to work this today because I need to make room for this pallet of stock. And then Thursday, I have more cowboy boots coming from another supplier. So busy, busy week. Um, let me get cracked on with this, and I'll get back to you either tomorrow or later on if I get a chance. Easy. Right, okay, so that pile there is the priority pile. These are all my best stuff. If, it, if there's a time lapse before this, that was me sorting through it. Basically what I was sorting for is the best brands and the coolest boots. All of this is the less lower priority stuff. We'll all sell, but I should hopefully get most of my money back from that pile there. That pile there should be on my return. So as we said in previous videos, when you buy stock, you're gonna have an initial return from your best stuff, which should be enough to cover your initial investment. That pile there should cover my initial investment. All of that um, is just profit, basically. It's slow selling, light stuff, not gonna be the most expensive, but it will uh, move out at a steady old speed. Now I've basically got to get all this sorted, start getting it listed, and you should see all this stuff will already be on away from the west by the time this video goes live. Good morning. Um, so Wednesday morning, I was gonna film the delivery this morning, but it arrived as I arrived. So 
I've kind of unpacked it. So this is from Vintage Wholesale Clothing UK in Birmingham. They class themselves as the cheapest wholesaler. But in fairness, their rep isn't particularly great. The reviews I've seen haven't been the best. Um, and in fact, my experience wasn't the best either, which is why I'm not gonna do a proper video on them. So just slide it on in here. <clears throat> so I ordered 25 kilos of Dickies and 40 kilo sack of reworked bags. Um, they didn't have that in stock, even though it was on their website, it was available. So I asked for Jogging Bottoms, which was also available on their website, which they also didn't have in stock. So in the end, I just went with bread and butter, grade B Levi's. Um, and it was meant to be 50 pairs of grade Le B Levi's. Over, this is like, this is after, uh, this all went through after two weeks of not having anything. So after two weeks, um, they messaged saying they didn't have the stock. Um, over a week later, they still hadn't sent it, so I messaged them saying, you need to cancel this now, I'm just give me a refund please, because it's taking the piss. Um, obviously they didn't quite freeze it like that. Um, two days later, they went, oh we can't, it's been dispatched. They sent me a message through saying it had been dispatched. Um, and I checked the tracking, and it wasn't even due for collection until later that day. In fact, it didn't get collected until that evening. So they could very easily cancel it, and they literally seen my cancel request, then booked it in. If I hadn't, uh, if they hadn't seen that cancel request, I probably still would have read the stock. Um, but either way, it's here. But I think I'm not sure if they did it on purpose as like a "we're sorry" or they fucked up. But they actually sent me two lots of the jeans, so I actually nearly got 100 pairs of jeans for. I don't think I, I think the whole thing cost me 250 quid. So. Either way, we got a shitload of jeans. Now, there is a lot of fakes in here. They're not very well graded. Um, honestly, this is very along the lines of Syed. They just chuck your stuff in because it says Levi's with no real um, quality control at all. Now, it is grade B, so there is stuff in here with marks on. But then there's a lot of stuff in here that is actually okay. Um, it's just fine. Um, it's just not 501. So they've just, because they separate the 501s out, they sell them separately for more. The rework bags, however, was a different story. Um, the rework bags, um, so badly made. Literally just cut the strips off, super rough sewn, um, really badly sewn on. Like, uh, they basically just used the hem from the jean to sew it into a bag. Now, I'm probably just going to give most of the bags away. There's a few in there that I could probably sell, which I'm going to uh, sell my bag account. But what I'm probably going to do is the rest of the bags, because there's a huge freaking sack of them. We're just going to put in uh, as freebies with any purchases um, and hopefully people don't complain that they're getting free stuff so yeah um, this is the Wednesday delivery now tomorrow it's probably gonna be a lot of listing I need to get cracked on with these cowboy boots to get as many lists as possible um, but we also have to go to Bradford at some point this week over either tomorrow or the day after to get even more cowboy boots so Lots of stuff going on. This isn't like a typical week. This is a little bit more exciting than a typical week. Usually we just get a couple of deliveries, two or three. Uh, never anything usually this big. Um, but this gives you an idea of how we're gonna kind of process this. So all this now is actually gonna go into a storeroom where it'll get worked later on. Um, and I'm gonna get cracked on with these cowboy boots because we need, like I say, we got 200 pairs. We need to get those 200 pairs listed because them sitting around isn't making us any money. So um, I'll be back tomorrow, um, if not tomorrow, uh, Friday, but I'll try and get something filmed tomorrow anyway. We'll, we'll try and get something done. We'll, yeah, tomorrow. Okay, so it's actually Saturday morning, so I never actually got to film yesterday um, on Friday. Uh, my son had to go for his corona test, uh, ready to go back to school. Um, it came back negative, but the time was a bit skewed, and by the time we'd finished messing around, getting all that stuff sorted, um, we end up missing most of the day. So I end up having the day off yesterday, just kind of covering all that family stuff. But that's kind of gives you an idea of my week. Um, so just to recap, beginning of the week, went to the hospital, went in, did all the posts. I didn't really film any of that stuff. I don't, you don't need to see people do the post. Um, and we got kind of prepped for Tuesday. Tuesday, we went and picked up, uh, our cowboy boots. Um, that was a lot of stock and you kind of seen that Wednesday Thursday uh, we got the other delivery which was the jeans um, and we listed over 50 pairs of the cowboy boots and uh, my colleague finished off the remaining converse that we had to list on our 
um, on that. Um, and then Friday was basically just kind of tidying up and preparing for next week, which we have, well, my colleague actually took care of on Friday, thankfully. Um, so shout out to Michael for uh, getting that sorted. Um, that does leave some cowboy boots outstanding, which I'm going to go collect first thing Monday morning. I'll film that. Um, I just wasn't able to get to Bradford to collect them with all the messing around on Friday. So yeah, this, like I say, it's not a normal week for me. It was actually an incredibly busy week for me, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how my week goes. Um, and if this is the kind of thing you'd like to see, I'll try and do it again. Um, I'll try and show you what stock I usually get in and why I get that stock in. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, because this is kind of like, I've never done this before, so this is kind of new to me. Um, if there's stuff you'd like to see, let me know. If you don't want to see it at all, tell me and I won't do it. Um, but yeah, like, share and subscribe, and I will see you next week.